disappear very quickly. Well, you've been proven right before, and you're certainly right about what was going to happen, so we'll continue to watch. Peter Schiff, thank you so much for the time. Thanks for having me on. Have a good day. Good luck with your speech today. Yep. All right, we're going to go to break, come back, uh, can finish up with your calls on the financial issue, but he's got to go. We'll get your take on it. Sorry I was rushing through the callers. Don't want to sound rude, but we had to do that. And then we've got a bunch of news on uh, what's happening geopolitically, the election, Hillary Clinton. All circuits are dead. You know, we told you they were going to start delivering huge armored vehicles to local police departments to fight the Tea Party and the gun owners. Because we had the Army training manuals seven, eight years ago even before Obama got in. That was going on in government. We told you that the number one enemy would be the gun owners, the patriots, the veterans. That's now public. Uh, we told you they were going to try to push forced inoculations. We told you that if you didn't have Obamacare, they start taking money out of your bank account or garnishing your wages. That's now starting. We told you basically everything. Remember Matt Drudge two years ago said they're going to start taking money out of your bank account and there's going to be a penalty. He was just reading out of the bill. And they said, Matt Drudge is insane. He's a liar. No, you're liars. And that's what I'm sick of is the bald-faced lying. Ha ha, you're kooks. You say hydrofluorosilicic acid fluoride isn't good for you. Everybody knows it's good for you. Really? The major medical journals, like the American Medical Association, American Dental Association, because of lawsuits, in the last three years came out and said, okay, under five-year-olds shouldn't brush with fluoride toothpaste. It causes dental fluorosis and fracturing of the bones in the body. Now the federal government's come out and said, take the fluoride out of the water. Take it out of the pesticide. We're winning. You're losing. Yes, Obamacare had penalties that started kicking in on business owners this year. Next year, they've announced and the IRS hired 7,000, then another 11,000 agents to carry out Obamacare and start garnishing your wages. Get ready. Get ready. And this was mailed to us by a listener. Tim Frisch brought it into me. It came into the shipping department, into the mail room. Um, document cam, please. Hillary laughing pen. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Laugh with at Hillary. And I love how it's nonpartisan. It isn't even attacking her. Uh, it actually looks like a cross between her and, uh, I guess, kind of like a Rachel Maddow. And you press the button, and then she laughs. <laughs> that's her when she does that laugh i mean she's so witch-like it's not that she's a corrupt globalist you guys are gonna bring something in <laughs> man i tell you she's creepy we don't sell this at infowarsstore.com but i think we should because it's really important shut up Really important to uh, denigrate these these people because they say she's a woman. You can't criticize her. I'll criticize anybody I want. The answer to political correctness is to tell them to shut up right back in their face. You want me to shut up? You go ahead and keep spouting all your bull. It's embarrassing. We'll say boy and girl. We'll have separate bathrooms. We'll have private property. We're not taking your vaccines. We're going to label the foods. We're not going to eat your GMO. You're all going to go bankrupt because people are going to start voting with their dollars and not be left or right, but be common sense. <laughs> Do you guys document cam on her? It's like a blonde haired Rachel Maddow. It does. Can you imagine having her as president? Let me ask you a question, Anthony Goodshard. They're going to give the number out, cover news, and take calls. What do you think is really going on election 2016 with all the players, the, the different groups that are involved, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton? Uh, I think Larry Nichols is right. He said this about three weeks ago, and then right after that it came out in the news, that the Obamas are getting, when he said I kind of rolled my eyes, but really it's true, they're flushing the toilet on Hillary because they want to be the, their own new dynasty and stay in control and, and, and even run uh, Mrs. Obama or his beard, run Obama's beard uh, for the Senate or something. So it's dynasties fighting with each other like Roman emperors. I kind of love it. It's that separation of powers 
that's actually keeping us safe because this is an evil dynasty and needs to go down in my view. I think we're seeing the beginning of the end of Hillary Clinton if we just put the heat to her. I think just when things get as crazy as possible is, is when it really comes to fruition. And it's super dynastic. I mean, just listen to that laugh. But imagine this for a minute for dynastic. Imagine Hillary Clinton runs and tries to get Bill as her VP. And then Jeb tries to get George as his VP. And then Biden does something like uh, gets Michelle Obama as he, his VP. Or he could get Jenner as his VP. He could get Jenner. I think Jenner would win by a landslide. I would rather have Caitlyn Jenner as our president than Hillary Clinton. I would too. Easy. Let's draft Caitlyn Jenner, and then we can get uh, Bradley Manning out. He has a new name. What is it, Buffy Manning? or I think it's uh, Chelsea Manning. I'm serious. I think we should have both of them run. Jenner 2016. Hashtag Jenner 2016. I'm on it right now. I'm so all over it. It'd be Jenner Manning. Jenner Manning. Wait, wait, but man is kind of sexist. So uh, Jenner Pink Penguin. Hashtag Jenner Pink Penguin 2016. That's it. The winning bid is in, guys. Or Purple Penguin. I'm sorry. Go home. I, I didn't say the right political correct cult word today. I need to. Can you believe how cultic it's getting? How bizarre when there's the biggest gay lesbian group in the country says ban boy and girl. I mean, this is just fruit level. Like, like, like their God now. And they go, you will no longer say boy or girl. You will no longer have boy and girls bathrooms. We, you, will, I mean, it's just like, who are you people? Bunch of cult leaders. Well, they say we're unaccepting. I'm, I'm pretty accepting. I really don't care what they do at all. It's them not accepting anything else besides their limited scope of what they want. Yeah, they are the intolerant control freaks. Yeah, let's just listen to that. <laughs> they are crazy. It's like, we're going to tell them we're banning husband and wife, father and mother, boy and girl. <laughs> it's crazy. And they'll do what we say. How we're liberal. We rule everything. <laughs> I'm going to start laughing like our priest. <laughs> <laughs> what difference does it make? <laughs> I like it. And you, and you notice we're sitting here. We don't care about any of it. We don't care if someone wants to be transsexual, any of it. We're not even. We, we don't it. care if you attack us. We don't care. We're our own people, you scum. We don't want some joker faced murdering criminal witch running around getting our guns. Got it? Who's got a bunch of bodyguards? I mean, they have no argument to take our guns. They are a joke. It's time to start calling them all of them, like Piers Morgan. You're a joke. You're a fraud. You are a scam artist. You're a foreign redcoat. Here to get our guns. Go to Hades. And then it's something like Matthew McConaughey comes out and says, yeah, I kind of like guns. I don't think they're that bad of a thing. It's like, oh, my. Major backlash against him and his Buick sponsorship. And he's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know how many. Now it's rumored that Matthew McConaughey will not have his testicles removed. This is racist and sexist. Q Hillary laugh. It's it, there's so many celebrities and politicians that are against all this, but they can't speak out because of that right there. Sorry, that kind of gets annoying. It well, it was annoying the first time. Now I like it. Now I'm addicted to it. I can like sleep next to it. It's your alarm clock. Well, no, I should be able to marry this Hillary laughing pin. You should. No, it's your right. And I and if no one else marries it, they're bad. It's not just exactly. They have to be, to be accepting. Yeah. Now we have to ban any other form of marriage, but marrying a Hillary laughing pen yeah. because any other type of marriage hurts me, like the name boy or girl. That would be bigotry if other people don't because marry because you say boys and girls that hurts people that are purple penguins. Yeah, that's bad. Biologically, that's not allowed. Well, now you hear they're banning all flags in school because they should yeah, ban everything. They should ban schools. Ban blow the planet up. Then there'll be no more racism. That's the only way to solve it. I, I think they should ban the word racism. Actually, ban ban everything. Ban the word ban. We could all marry our Hillary Clinton dolls and just listen to her beautiful voice for the rest of our lives. That's, that's, that's actually an utopia. idea. It's a utopia of sorts, isn't it? I wonder if Rachel Maddow has a Hillary blow-up doll. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask her. When Caitlyn Jenner is president, that'll be your first question that she asks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be morning shock jock here. I'm just sick of these cultural tyrants. These people are unbelievably 
ridiculous and pompous and over-the-top lecturing everyone and all these cultureless people brought up on TV are just supposed to accept whatever the new monthly flavor of political correctness is and I just reject all of you. Do you people realize what jokes you are? I mean, you are... F Ugh. No one's buying it. People like this kind of stuff. That's why people are so dying to hear Donald Trump because he has... He's not going to be completely politically correct. People love this kind of stuff. This is what people want to hear. You know, Donald Trump is arrogant enough that he may just be for real, wants to be president, and now even mainline people are saying, okay, he may be president. Yeah. And there's this thing about, oh, he won't get the votes, oh, he's not popular. Now there's all these Hispanic groups that like him. It's just common sense. Hey, I can't come there and get stuff for free. You can't come here. You're hardworking. We'll make the process really easy uh, if you don't have a criminal record and you, you know, have something to offer. Seems like Hispanics love him, actually. Pretty much everyone I talk to loves Donald Trump. They try to push them on me. They're like, hey, we hate illegal immigrants. They're ruining everything for us, and it's true. It's all just common sense. None of this is fanatical. None of this is crazy. It's all just reality, and we're sitting here. Then the media pretends that no one supports Take us. a Take a North African town. Do you think a North African town of 1,000 people, if 2,000 Germans show up homeless with no money and say, take care of me, what would the North Africans do? They would not lovingly take care of them. But the Germans, it's like, take 500, take 1,000, take 2,000. And they're just like, now it's, take them in your house. Yeah. And it's like, no, you're a racist, you're a racist. I mean, you know, at a certain point, that will make people go Hitler. Which is part of this larger plan, Anthony. I, I broke this down earlier. We're going to open the phones up, 800-259-9231 on other issues now. We shut down the other calls because it was on economic issues. I apologize, but it had to be done. That's Standard Talk Radio. We're trying to start just applying that so that it's not for an old guest. It's for the new topics. But 800 259 When we come back, Hillary Clinton compares pro-lifers to terrorists. This is how extreme the rhetoric is getting and how desperate they are. No, Hillary, you're the one at the State Department shipping Stinger missiles to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. I think that makes you, witch, the terrorist. And you're not laughing now, are you? Everything isn't funny now, is it? <laughs> By the way, uh, Nico, one of our uh, producers, well, the head producer on the radio side, came in here and said, uh, I know you have Anthony in here. Why is he here? Because uh, they don't really run the show, but they help me when I get off the rails a little bit. And that's probably a good idea to explain why you're here, why I asked you to come in today. Uh, DrudgeReport.com ran our story. Video, McDonald's chicken supplier caught stabbing chickens with spikes. And you link to the activist video and the other reports. We're not the progenitor uh, of this report. But Tyson Foods is tweeting at us and responding to this and saying they're f uh, firing the subcontractor that did this, so that's good. But we'll talk about this report when we come back uh, in the next segment. But since I was mentioning uh, Hillary Clinton, that is why Anthony's here with some other consumer news and interesting uh, things that have to be covered. Uh, but before we get there, let's cover Hillary Clinton right now since we were talking about her. That's why I had the pen out, and then I forgot to actually get to the reason I had the pen out because I got so enamored by her siren song, She's So Beautiful. Clinton compares pro-lifers to terrorists. They are dead wrong for 21st century America. We're going forward. And I guess that means with harvesting babies and, okay, Hillary, but you might as well pay the women a few hundred thousand dollars for the baby parts because that's what some of these clinics are getting for late-term abortions. So we understand you're a ghoulish uh, promoter and a representative of, of a organ harvesting factory farm system so if you're upset about chickens can, can we be a little upset about the humans oh but there's no empathy for humans from PETA because they're Peter Singer run it's an anti-human exterminist worldview to take our human empathy and project it onto bunny rabbits but not onto humans how about we treat animals well and humans well as well you witch but you see us as cattle don't you so let's go to this clip Extreme views about women, we expect that from some of the terrorist groups. <laughs> the we expect funds. that from people who don't want to live in the modern world. But it's a little hard to take coming from Republicans who oh. want to be the president of the United States, yet they espouse out-of-date and out-of-touch policies. They are dead wrong for 21st century America. We're going forward. <laughs> She's the future. Everybody else is the past. No, Eddie, you're the past. 
They ran with Confederate flags for governor every time. Now she wants them banned. These people are nothing but psychopath manipulators. I mean, it's so obvious. She is a monster. She is an absolute gangster. And she wants to play women off of